Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Kat. I'm the Community and Engagement Manager for Lean Agile Global. In the lead up to our live virtual conference on 24th and 25th May 2021, I will be introducing you to some of the fantastic speakers that we have in our lineup. Today, I am delighted to introduce you to one of our keynote speakers, Dana James Edwards, founder of Diversity Dana. Uh, welcome, Dana. Excited to have you here. Thank you so much, Kat. I still cannot believe that you use that word keynote in association with my I name. I find it very exciting and I'm thrilled. <laughs> Good. Well, we are very, very happy to have you. You know, I don't even think I don't even think it was a, a, a question about whether we wanted you to be a keynote. Jose literally saw your name on the I'm interested list and he went, great, let's just move her to the keynote section. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I've prepared five questions for you today um, for us to go through in the lead up to the conference. So to start it off with a little bit of fun, how would you describe yourself in a single tweet? Now, for anyone who's watching this back, I did not actually go and put this on Twitter to see if it fits into tweet parameters. So don't judge me, okay? I don't know how many characters I'm going to say <laughs> as I say this, uh, but my answer is sunny vibrant, fun-loving, diversity and inclusion specialist, former woman in tech, and current woman in agile. I love that. I love that. I love how you just started off with sunshine and, and passion and excitement, and that is exactly how I know you, so I absolutely love that. <laughs> But true story, everyone, Kat would have said she loved it, even if she hated it. It's true. Just so you know. I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> <laughs> it's why I'm here. I'm like, you did a great job. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I feel like this is going to be a really long interview by the time we're done. We're just going to keep laughing at each other. Um, okay, so the next question then. In your opinion, why should people come and join us virtually at Lean Agile Global 21? So uh, I've been to two Lean Agile Globals. They've both been amazing. Um, but I think since this year is going to be virtual again, I'm going to focus on my experience of last year where I got to meet amazing people. I laughed, I learned so much and I felt part of a community and a fellowship. But then I also had really deep discussions but also opportunities to just listen and be immersed and engaged. And I, I had a brilliant time, uh, not, not just as a speaker, but also as a delegate, as a participant. So I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Uh, for me, it's a great, positive and welcoming space. And I'm really looking forward to this year's conference. Oh, amazing. I'm so happy to hear that. And, you know, last year was my first conference as well. And I completely agree that it really gave you the opportunity to engage and participate when you wanted to and listen and be immersed in it when you wanted to. And I think that's really important, you know, to give everyone the opportunities that they're looking for rather than kind of forcing them into certain ways. Absolutely. Completely agree with that. Awesome. Um, so I know this is a really hot topic for you, which is why I'm so excited that we are really focusing on it. Um, but we really want Lean Agile Global to be a diverse and inclusive conference. Mm. And I want to know, what does that mean to you? This is a good one. So I think, you know, when you look at the photo of the speaker profile for Lean Agile Global this year, there is a lot of visible diversity. So we have a mix of ethnicities, of gender, of age. Uh, but for me, diversity is also about diversity of thought um, and that there's a range of voices and diversity in ways that also maybe aren't so visible. So personality, socioeconomic standpoints, ways of working, roles, even approaches to agile. So diversity in terms of that kind of thing. And I think we've captured that and not just from the speakers, but just looking at who I know attended last year and who's going to attend this year, uh, I feel pretty confident about that. But even beyond that, if we are saying an event is diverse and inclusive, I want to know that those attending feel that there is space to enjoy the conference in the way that they choose. 
So if you prefer to just listen, that's okay. You don't have to jump into every session. There's no pressure to participate. There is downtime. There is space for socialization, if that's what you like. Uh, a bit of something for everybody. And I do feel like the conference will deliver on that. Uh, if we're talking about diversity, though, I can't leave out things like accessibility and accommodations. Um, so, you know, good graphics and the correct fonts and colors, uh, captions on videos and things like that all lead to that sense of inclusion. I know that's probably too long an answer. I'm going to stop there. Um, but for me, that's what inclusion is all about. No, absolutely. And I love your answer. You know, you really just captured a very global and very like wide range of what diversity and inclusion is. Um, and I really appreciate that, you know, as you said, everything from talking about genders and race to talking about um, visuals and, and um, assisted listening. Um, you know, I really think yeah. that, that there's such a I don't even know how to say it really. There's just, there's diversity and inclusion isn't just a one word answer. You know, there, there's so many different things that need to be thought about and cared about when we're talking about those topics. And I hope that, you know, we, we do our best to do a really good job and having people like yourself who diversity and inclusion is really important to is definitely helping us understand that. Absolutely. I even forgot to say the geographies as well, because one of my go. favorite things <laughs> is about, about Lean Agile Global is that your speakers and your attendees are from all around the world. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of people for who English isn't even their first language as well. And just that sense of community above all of that for me feels really inclusive. Yeah, absolutely. And I and I and for anyone that's listening, if you know anyone in Antarctica, Jose and JP are die hard trying to figure out how we reach every <laughs> single continent with this conference. So I really hope one day there's going to be someone on a base in Antarctica that says, you know what, I know agile. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So so one day, one day we'll get there. Um, amazing. So, so tell me a little bit about what your talk is about. Why should people come and listen to your talk at the conference? So this is the part where I think I'm being asked to lie. Oh. Because the truth is that I have no idea what my talk really is going to be about. So to give you a little bit of history, last year, maybe two weeks before the conference, I completely changed my entire talk, the topic, what it was going to be about, what it was Love going to it. cover, how it was going to work, because I was hit with a flash of inspiration at the last minute. Um, this year, what I can tell you is that I'm talking about women in Agile, but also about men in Agile and how we can all speak up uh, for and, and support each other. It's like a marriage of diversity and inclusion and Agile from my time in Agile. Specifically, what it contains, I can't tell you because yeah. I haven't properly written it yet. But what I am going to do is reach out to my networks. I'm on social media over the next couple of weeks because uh, I find like my best ideas come from people and things that I've heard and things that I will want to incorporate. Uh, and even though I don't have my content 100% nailed down, what I can tell you is it's going to be full of energy. Always. Um, <laughs> Always. Um, I was going to well plug delivered. that in for you. I was going to plug that in for you if you didn't say it. <laughs> interactive, if yeah. you feel like interacting. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, and I think lots of opportunities, you know, for fun to get involved. It's definitely going to be thought provoking. I believe a lot in the power of lived experiences and storytelling. So I'm going to bring some of that to the session as well. I have a feeling in my gut that it's going to be really good, even though, you know, I can't give you any specifics of the ins and outs of how it's all going to work. I love that. And, you know, you might feel it in your gut. I feel it in my heart. 
you know, last, last year was my first introduction to you and actually my first introduction um, to the agile community um, as my background isn't an agile at all. And, um, you know, your talks, like I listened to a lot of talks last year, but your talks, as you said, were engaging and fun and full of energy. And that's the type of person I am too. And I really enjoyed listening to your stories. You know, one of your talks was specifically just recounting stories and how that applied to, to your life and to your work and the agile community. And I was so interested. So I do completely agree that even though, you know, you might be throwing us a curveball and changing your topic two weeks <laughs> before the event, no matter what I'm it gonna is. I'm going to do that this year. <laughs> well, so I was going to say, don't say no, just in case it does happen. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, I can completely agree that your talk is going to be interesting and thought provoking, as you've said, you know, whether people know the topic before they show up or not. So we're all going to love it. I can promise you that. Just come along. It's going to be yeah. a great 30 minutes, uh, regardless of what I talk about. No, uh, it is definitely going to be about women. That's the brief. Okay. Yeah. I've got the brief. It's going to be centered around that. Um, and, and some key lessons. It, it's just, don't worry, it'll all go well on the day. We know Always. That. Yeah, we <laughs> wing it. We're great. We're great at winging things. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, to wrap it up, then, my final question for you, uh, much more personal rather than professional. Okay. But what are you? What are you most looking forward to after COVID has started to settle down? Oh, that's an easy one. So I am originally from Trinidad in the Caribbean. I have not been home in a long while um and i really would like to go i would like to go home uh so you know my husband and i we are the only ones uh here in london uh and with our sons we have like no other family all of our family is at home in trinidad and yeah i i look forward to the beach and the sun Absolutely. and my family and all of and the food and the food i look forward to all of the amazing things that come with being a part of my community at home so i'm really looking forward to that in case that doesn't happen though i would be happy enough to go for a swim so gyms have been closed and so no pool time for Dana. I start going a bit mm, if I can't get into the pool. So I'm really excited about that as well. Awesome. You know, I'm actually, I, I like boxing is what I like to do. And I haven't been able to go to the boxing gym. So my poor boyfriend, I'm just sitting there being like, let's, let's have a, let's, let's have a little match and, you know, one, two straight. And he's like, all right, you need to settle down and get your energy out somewhere else. <laughs> Amazing. Well, okay. Thank you so much, Dana. I really appreciate your time and, you know, coming and talking about the excitement and everything that we have going on at Lean Agile Global. Um, I hope that everyone listening has kind of fed off of our energy and our excitement for the conference and will be joining us at Dana's keynote. Uh, so please do join us at the conference at 24th and 25th of May, 2021. We're looking forward to having you there. See you there. <laughs> Bye.